because with the 5% parry chance, if I kept that talent, I wouldn't be able to get the Righteous Fury, which would have been bad, so I had to get rid of something. And, you know, that's the, that's the best thing that I can think of in here. But what I did get in the first talent, in the first tier, was Benediction. And in the second tier, I got Improved Blessing of Might, self-explanatory, and Heart of the Crusader, which is also self-explanatory, and Improved Judgment, with it, which is, you know, once again, very obvious choice. Now, most uh, Retribution Paladins really don't need Eye for an Eye until you do start PvPing, because it will help you against Warlocks, Priests, Mages, Druids, you know, all and any other caster that I'm forgetting. Oh yeah, Shamans. Or Elemental Shamans. Soon, though, Vindication will be getting nerfed, and instead of reducing the target's attributes, it will only reduce their attack power, so I might actually drop that for my build, since it will be kind of useful, useless. You know, unless you're fighting, you know, maybe a warrior, another paladin, or, you know, another melee class or anything. But that's just pretty much going to be useless. And, you know, right now I was thinking about dropping Seal of Command for my build, since I do use Seal of Blood, but, you know, you never know when you're going to use Seal of Command. And Pursuit of Justice, that increases your actual, that increases your walking speed by 15%. If you can see on my Carbonite, it shows my walking speed that I'm moving plus 15, not 0. Uh, Sanctified Retribution. They did, removed improve, they did remove Improved Retribution Aura, which was increases the damage of Retribution Aura. You know, that kind of helps, you know, a little bit of a DPS increase when in arenas. And 200 Weapon Specialization, that's kind of an obvious one to get. Uh, Vengeance, you get a 9% uh, just a 9% increase in your DPS. Uh, Holy Purpose is your Paladin-only uh, PvP trinket. It has the same effect, except for it changes it changes Hand of Freedom into more of a PvP trinket. Because reduces your chance to be hit with spells, and gives your Hand of uh, Freedom a spell to... Uh, hand of Freedom spell 100% chance to remove any stun effects from the target. Judgment of the Wise is self-explanatory. Repentance, you know, it's useful for crowd control and PvP. Art of War, instant flash of light, and soon to be instant exorcism, since we will be able to be will be able to use exorcism in the next patch. Fantasism increases the critical strike chance of judgments. That means right now, since I have a 26.53% chance to crit, with that 18% chance, um, that's like 42. I don't. I really, really don't feel like doing math right now, but I know. Sorry, math guys. If I'm insulting you, I don't feel like doing math. Uh, Seath of Light. I do believe in the next patch, judgments are going to scale with melee damage and not spell power. But correct me if I'm wrong. So this will only pretty much benefit your Flash of Light, which is still helpful, since in PvP you are going to be taking damage. Uh, Swift Retribution is just a 3% damage increase into the haste. Uh, Righteous Vengeance is your dot. And Divine Storm is, you know, self that's kind of your last talent. Now let's go into Protection. Divine Strength increases your total strength by 15%. That's kind of obvious as well. You know, that's, uh, you know, I have about 3,300 attack power, which is kind of decent right now for a 2 versus 2 team. Guardian's Favor, since I do PvP with a Warlock, that helps because my Hand of Protection has uh, two minutes less of a cooldown, so it's only at three minutes. And Staticism, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. And reduces the duration of all stun effects by an additional 30%, so that includes Fear, Intercept by Warlocks, or Charge, or whatever. That's uh, 30% less. And Improved Regis Fury, as I described before, it's 6% less damage. And alright, that's. I'll also put a link to my build. And this is a very common retribution build for PvP. <coughs> Sorry about that. And I hope you enjoyed it.